How's it going guys? Welcome back to the North South Sports Opinion on YouTube. In this video we're going to we're going to talk about probably the biggest news at least in my opinion over the last 24 hours and that's the fact that Boise State's former head coach Chris Peterson has now moved on to Washington. You know when you think about this move you know a lot of people including myself are saying it's about time. Now before all of you start blowing me up in comments and saying I hate Boise State, I don't hate Boise State. I have no hatred toward them. But, you know, in my opinion, Boise State is is really a team that gets a short end of the stick on a lot of fronts. You know, number one, the conference you play in doesn't help you, and that's not your fault. But the conference you play in is a bunch of high school teams in college uniforms, basically. You know, and then, with a straight face, you say, oh, we deserve to be in the national title game. Yes, you might deserve that. But, in the rest of the college football world's mind, you don't play anybody. You know, so, that hurts you. Not to mention, recruiting is, is, is desolate. For Boise State, you know, kudos to to Chris Peterson and Boise State for doing what they did with what they had, you know, because Boise State again is not really in a primo territory. You're in the middle of Idaho. I mean, so you probably there's nothing to do there for a college student. I can almost guarantee you that. And then, you know, so you don't get the short end of the stick. You don't, or you don't get top tier. You get guys that either no other team wanted or guys that transferred or guys that had letters to other places until the letters got pulled away or whatever. But, and again, that hurts you too. So, you know, probably what made Peterson, at least in my opinion, what made Peterson say, okay, let's go to Washington is because, to flat out be honest, it's because he has a shot at the national championship and yes, I know Boise State fans are probably going to say, but we had a shot at it. No, you didn't. You probably never would have, and you never will, probably with the conference you're going into next year, which is the American Conference, which is um, <laughs> probably worse than the conference you're in now. You know, so it doesn't really help you on that front. You know, and after a while, you know, Boise State kind of hit a plateau, and they've hit that plateau, and they're probably not going to get any further. You know, they hit the 10, 11 win mark, but they're not going to get to the national title game. They're just, you're just not. And I think, you know, the more teams that kept calling, the louder it got to say, hey, maybe we really ought to go somewhere else. You know, it's it, that's, it's that way with all coaches. You know, you're okay somewhere till something better starts chirping in your ear, starts saying they want you. At Washington, you know, I really think Chris Peterson can make a difference. Um, you know, he can get top-tier talent. He's going to have access to the western part of the United States, the, that recruiting territory. He's going to get top-tier talent. I can almost guarantee you that. I know it's Washington, but it's Chris Peterson, and he's got a, he's got a solid reputation as a great coach, great guy on and off the field. So the, so the reputation will follow him, as will the recruits, I think. You know, do I think he'll win 10, 11 games? Not right off. But that, I think, is what made him want to go to Washington. And I'll get to my next topic in just a second. But Washington does not really have top expectations. They don't expect 10, 11 win seasons or top five in the BCS or national championship game appearances year in, year out. They don't expect that, you know. With Sarkeesian, who's now at USC, with Sarkeesian, you know, they only had, what, one eight-win season his, his entire time there. So the expectation there isn't that high, not yet. Now, the more Peterson wins, the higher that expectation will get. But I think that that is another reason why he didn't take USC. I've heard that question tossed around a couple times with people that I've talked to and people that have either messaged me or emailed me they they well why didn't he take USC I don't think I think he took he did not take USC because he knew 
that they, that they were going to expect 10 or 11 wins. I think Washington, it allows him to get his feet wet in the Pac-12 and know really what he's going against. And then maybe down the road he jumps to USC. Or down the road he jumps to Oregon. Or a, you know, a bigger team with more expectations. You know, because if he, if he would have went to USC right off and then failed, he would have tumbled all the way down the mountain, and that would have followed him his entire career. So I think this was a smart move on his part to say, okay, let me go to Washington and then kind of gauge what where I'm at there, and then I'll jump if I want to. Because being at Washington is Chris Peterson's time to shine. He's going to face teams like Oregon, USC, UCLA, uh who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting a few teams there, but those are the top tier guys. And if he can beat the top tier guys, he can just about win anywhere. And I think at this year and the next two or three years are really going to be his time to shine. And I think he will. That does it for this one, guys. Email us. Reach us on Twitter. They'll both be down here. I'm going to leave a link to the blog I do down in the description box. So you guys can always get a hold of me. Give me any feedback you got. I don't care. Good, bad. Any, any feedback you want to offer, I'll take. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.